What's up, it's Nez, and welcome back to Rockwin, everyone. Last episode, we finally managed to enter Morizora's forest, we discovered the village of the Liebels, and now we're beginning our trek into the cave of Morizora. But don't worry, we have our mom with us. She'll scare away all the scary envoys. Right, mom? Please, tell me you will. So let's just check the map and see where we haven't gone yet. We still haven't gone to the north of this lower area, so let's check that out. Hello! Ooh! Hello there, little mushrooms! Hello there, Mr. Red Door! Dude! Ah! Wah! Ah! <laughs> what are you doing, man? You totally stepped on a rat shroom! A rat shroom? Oh no! What the hell's a rat shroom? I'm sorry, uh, I really didn't mean to. Hmm, come here, little dude. Hello there, King Shroom. Am I in trouble? Nah, we're cool. I can tell you're a good little dude. I'm King Spore, and these are my totally radical Shimeji guards. Together, we make up the Rad Shroom Preservation Society, or RPS for short. All around Morazora's cave, there's a great battle going on. Between who? A war between good and evil. A struggle between rad and bad. This place is a little war zone. Okay. Yes, yes. Sh you should be surprised. Shocked? Surprise. For ages, the rad shrooms and the bad shrooms have been at war. Rad shrooms, like the poor little dude you just stepped on. Oh, I'm so sorry. We stepped on a poor rat shroom. Oh no, he looks squashed. They fill the air with righteous spores that make you peaceful, kind, and full of rad. Rat shroom spores in the air mean we all get along better. Bad shrooms, on the other hand. Whoa! Whoa! No! Bad shrooms are totally uncool. When you breathe in their spores, you become rude. Gnarly! Stuck up! So, little dude, whilst on your totally righteous journey, the RPS asks that you help stomp out the bad. While totally protecting the rad. Uh, um, yeah, okay. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Awesome! Hey, little dude, is that like, your mom? Yes, yes she is. Yep. Moms are totally cool. Yes, they are. So let's step on the bad shrooms. Take that. And take that. Take that. Oh well, that's it. That's all we really have to do. Wall shroom. Nice view of the water from here. I'm glad you like your view. Do we have a red key? I think we don't. Oh, we do. Okay. Hello, is anyone in here? I see some bad shrooms. Get stomped. And we can't get to that chest because we don't have the right tools yet, so might as well go upstairs. Hello! Ooh, hello there, cave bud. What's your name? Okay, these cave buds are nameless. I know this is hard to believe, but did you know that there's a pig living inside this cave? Yeah, we just met the pig! Although he didn't want to, uh, he want, he didn't want to help us in eating the rocks, though. It's kind of insane. Lucky for us, they only eat rocks and truffalos, not cave buds. Just between you and me, not that I'd ever wish being eaten by a pig on anyone, but... If the pig had to eat someone in this cave, and I had to choose who it was... Well, I'll just be honest with you. I'd choose the truffalos. Thank you for sharing that with us, Mr. Cave, bud. That's... that's a rad shroom! We shouldn't step on a rad shroom! Should we? <laughs> Ooh! A tea party! I love me a tea party. Can I get some cake? All of these sandwiches are filled with dirt. Ha! <laughs> okay. Hello there. Truffalo. <gasps> You're a truffalo! We have the most delicious dirt in all of the forest. And that's how it should be. We are the best mushrooms, so we should get the best dirt. If you come here to ask for our debt, we're not just gonna give it to you if you don't give us something in return. Okay, hello. 
That dreadful pig that lives down here only eats two things. Rocks and us. Ah, so barbaric. That's convenient. Hello. Okay. Somehow I thought that the lamp would talk to us. Let's look at the map again. And... Okay, so we can go to the right. Which we haven't entered yet. Hello! Ooh! A puzzle! That we can't access yet. So looking back at our map, we should be able to go... Upwards, and then to the side. No! I accidentally stepped on a rad shroom! Oh! Oh no! I'm so ashamed! I'm so ashamed! For oh no! I stepped on another one! Why don't I keep looking where I'm stepping? Oh! King Spore is gonna be angry at me! Hello, King Spore! Anyway... Let's keep going down. Keep exploring. We've been upstairs of here. I bet we have. Yeah, we have. But let's just keep exploring to see where we haven't gone yet. We haven't gone to the right side. Oh no, I fell! Again! Gotta be careful. Oh, wait. Okay, I thought I fell again. Hello? Hi there! You must be the last foot or toe. Friendly foot. Oh, woe is me. Hunger consumes me. My stomach's so empty it aches. Oh, I long for the nectar of the forest. That life-giving ambrosia. That which pleaseth my stomach. Delicious, delectable, divine dirt. Okay, now I know what we need to do. We need to get some dirt for you. From the obviously... Stingy truffalos. Bad mushroom. But we need something to give the truffalos for it. And I still don't know what to give them. Anyway. Hello there, little onion. Oh, it's a bad attitude, onion. Oh, look, it's the kid who has fists that are really dumb. Hey, fists, what what's two plus two? What did you say? You say the answer is. Duh. Wow, what is wrong with this guy? Ha! He's a bad attitude onion! Wow, something feels... Uh, different? <laughs> what? Oh, I get it! The bad shrooms were making him bad attitude, but now he's an okay attitude onion now. I suddenly feel... Happy! He's a happy onion now! <laughs> Even the boy can't realize that it's different. Thanks for clearing the air in here. Um, no problem, sure. Can you give us something? Wow, this is such a nice cave. The sound of the underground river near here. The cool feel of the rocks beneath my stalks. And wow, I really like your hat. Thank you very much. Well, so I'm guessing we could unlock more stuff by squashing the bad shrooms. Let's look around and see what we can actually squash. We don't have your pig yet, so keep waiting. Keep waiting! Hmm, we can't traverse through that yet. I'll just keep checking my map to see where we can go. We can't go upwards there yet. To the left should be that puzzle area that I don't know how to cross. Hello there, cave okay, bud! Tell us! Those rocks are weird! Why are they weird? Well... One time I saw a mushroom jump from rock to rock to get to the other side and he jumped. The rocks turned blue. What's up with that? Weird, right? Huh, can we jump? <gasps> we can jump! I didn't know. Ooh, they turned blue. So I'm guessing we have to make them turn blue... Make them all turn blue in a certain order to possibly unlock the door at the top. Okay, so I'm just gonna reset, get off these rocks first. I'm gonna put my thinking cap for a while to solve this puzzle. Meh, might as well do it on the fly.
There we go. Cha -cha! Did we unlock it? Yep, yes we did. Ooh, a chest! More gold! Another key! You found some pig repellent. Now we have something to scare the pig with, or at least, you know, make him move. Hmm, I wonder who in this cave would want something like a pig repellent. Die, bad shroom, die! Hello, ah, yes! Another, another treasure. 10 gold. So we can't go to the bottom there. Now who would want pig repellent? The truffalos! Yes! There we go! Because the truffalos... Well, they're the natural food source of pigs in this universe. So to trade the pig repellent to the truffalos, we'll get dirt. And with that dirt, we can give it to the friendly foot. And then we can finally get the apple <laughs> to solve this convoluted scavenger hunt. That dreadful pig that lives down here only eats two things. Rocks and us. Ah, so barbaric. Here, have some pig repellent. If you come here to ask for dirt, we're not gonna give you if you give something as to not if you don't give us something in return. Wait a minute. Is that pig repellent you're carrying? Oh, we need that. We'll give you a bag of our best dirt if you give us that pig repellent. I'll even throw in some truffalo perfume. It's so refined. This perfume would make even a lonely cave bud smell as good as us. Ha ha! But stay away from pigs while you're wearing it. Otherwise, they might follow you around. Disgusting! Barbaric! Uncute! Give the truffalo... Okay, we'll give him the pig repellent. Traded for the tasty dirt. Delightful! Now that uncouth pig will finally give us some peace and quiet. So first we need to use the perfume to get the pig to move to eat the rocks. Where's the pig again? We need to see the map. Where is the pig? Okay, so the pig is upstairs. Let's get the pig first. Hello, little piggy. We're gonna get you. We're gonna get you to eat some rocks. Am I in the right place? Upwards, right? That is a pig snout, I see. Right? I hope it was. No! What? I thought this was this was where the pig was. No? Ah, strange. Maybe I just forgot that the pig was on the bottom floor. I'll check the bottom floor. Upper, upper level, lower level. Yeah, he's at the lower level. We need to definitely go downstairs. If we pass the friendly foot along the way, we'll give him the dirt. We'll give the friendly foot the dirt. Ooh, a bad shroom. Come here, little bad shroom. That's right. You don't deserve to live. No matter how bad you say you are. Rad shrooms are the new in thing. That's a cat. That's not a pig. Where's the pig? Wait a minute, the bad shroom! You have to smush it. Smushed. Hello, little piggy. Hi there, little piggy. Follow us. Wah, wah, wah. You come to feed me rocks or truffalos? I wonder if he would follow us if we use the truffalo perfume. Okay, let's use the perfume. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Wah, wah, wah. Why you smell like truffalo? I follow you. Yes! We're gonna eat rocks now, Mr. Piggy. The animals in this world look hella weird. Up we go to eat some rocks. We have your pig! Rocks! Rocks, yum! Now travel over dessert! He's gonna be pretty angry that we gave the repellent. Truffalo perfume has faded. What is this? Repel from Pokemon? Hello there, cave bud! Ah, 
I guess that pig finally ate the rocks blocking our door. Someone needs to tell those golems to go rough house somewhere else. Sign, Western Water Flow Switch. Okay, so we got the first switch. And now we'll give the friendly foot the last piece of the puzzle. The debt. The debt that he oh so cravingly wants. Hello there, little foot. Here you go. Doth my rooty nose deceive me? That divine fragrance! May it be thou carriest the tastiest and most coveted dirt in all of the forest! Give the friendly foot your tasty dirt! Yes! Oh, wonder of wonders! I thank thee for thine gift! Very well, my friends! And with that, the last friendly foot is happy. Which means, we can now get a Scylla apple. And then I already forgot who we need to give the Scylla apple to. But we might remember when we get there. We need the Scylla apple for something, I just forgot what. And then it all leads to getting tools from Jackie. Oh yeah, right, we need a Scylla apple from the... From the tree to give to this golem, to flip the switch, to get the tools. Ah, oh, so convoluted, but whatever. I see you're happy and grown up now. Oh wow, I'm so beautiful. My feet tell me that you helped all of them. Because you gave them sun, water, and dirt, I was able to grow up into a full tree. Thank you for your help. We all feel much better now. Here, to say thank you, I want you to have one of my fruit. You received the Scylla Apple. Okay. So now we could get past the golem. Hello, Mr. Golem, you want an apple? Lethargio Golem. I smell apple. Give the Lethargio Golem a Scylla Apple. Sure. Oh boy. I feel so different now. It's like I have so much more. Energy! Woo! Well, that was a weirdo. Hello there! Squash the bad shrooms. Buff glow shroom. Yeah, I'm probably the brightest glow shroom in here. We're talking 1000 watts, 90 second intervals, and I can bench like 5 times my own weight. Okay. Eastern water flow switch. That glow shroom is annoying. It's like, no one cares how many reps you can do, or how many dead plant shakes you drink all day. The lake has been drained! Great job! Okay, time to get his tools. We can finally... Break some bamboo! Ooh. The water is all gone. But anyway... To get the key, I mean tools. You found the blacksmith's tools. Haha, -ha, Jackie, we found your tools. I don't think we have the right tools to remove this bamboo. What? Oh, my wonderful tools! You give the blacksmith back his tools. Thank you so much. Now, as promised, I'll clear you a path to Morizora's Grove. Nice job, Jackie. You're still a weirdo. There you go. Well, I'd be better. I'd better be back to my shop. Thanks for everything. Oh, one more thing. If you visit my shop, I can build you some tools of your own. It's gonna take me a little time to get everything up and running again, though. So why don't you come by once you're done talking to Morizora? Hopefully I'll be ready by then. Good luck! Bye, you weirdo. Hello, Morizora. I've come to make a wish. Ooh, hello there, Mr. Cavebud. What are you doing blocking this way? I'd recommend against going down this path for the time being. There are far too many Envoy beyond this point. Your mama can't save you down there. Okay. Might as well go upstairs. Hello to the grove. Ooh. 
Magnificent. Hello there. Ooh, you must be Morizora. Enchanting. It looks like we have visitors. Hmm. I do not recognize their kind at all. I don't think they're from Morizora's forest. Hmm. Definitely not from around here. Definitely not. It's been many years since we've had visitors such as these. Morizora's helper. Tell me, young boy, what brings you to the Keeper's Grove? I want to ask Morizora if he would grant me a wish. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I'm sorry, but Morizora has been sleeping for a while now. Oh. Do you know when he's going to wake up? My boy, this is not an ordinary slumber. A darkness has fallen over Morizora's lands, and over him as well. A darkness. You see, we have long shared this world with the envoy. There are spirits between this realm and the next. Typically peaceful, merely passing through. However, lately more and more of them have become overrun with negative energy. Anger, fear, hatred. The whole forest can feel it. If Morizora sleeps and darkness subsumes his lands, we are all in danger. This is terrible! We have to do something! Let me try to wake him up for you. Ha, ah, my boy. Morizora cannot be awoken by just any means. When darkness has caused him to fall into slumber, the only thing that can awaken him is a very special song. A song that we call More no Kokoro. Can you teach it to me? No, my child. I cannot. But that's not to say that you can't learn it. When you can hear things that are too quiet for the ears. The fear and the longing. The hopeless dreams of those around you. Then you can wake him. I'm sorry, but... I don't understand. Look around us. Do you see the stones with different markings? Yes. Each one represents a voice that is calling out for your help right now. A man whose connection with his wife has been severed. Winston. A woman who prepares to lose that which is most dear to her. Danielle? Seek them out along with the rest who call you out to you. If you help them, they will teach you what you seek to learn. See that one over there? Yes. Listen. My wife's been asleep for months now. Something tells me that's a good place to start. Good luck, young one. Return to us if you need any help. We need to help all the patients. After helping all of them, possibly, with anything, about their life or with their hardest struggles then we'll finally get to talk to Morizora we need to learn the song from them my name is Nez and thanks for watching if you want to watch more Rahuen please do like and subscribe so we can grow our channel together we have to save these patients bye everyone